Hello everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run Minecraft 1.12 fast with absolutely no lag. So first things first, this tutorial will be using Optifine and there's a link on your screen right now as well as the first link down below will take you and show you exactly how to install Optifine. It's a text tutorial, there's a video up top, really nice layout, really nice format and it will tell you everything you need to know about getting Optifine. Once you've got Optifine installed, come back to this video and I will will show you everything you need to know about running Minecraft with no lag as well as setting up Optifine doing all that stuff. So first things first we want to get the Minecraft launcher open here and instead of going down here immediately hitting play we actually want to go over here to launch options at the top. Now if this isn't here for you it's because there's this little three bar tab. We need to click that and that brings down this menu bar where then you can see launch options. From there you want to click on that and then you should have Optifine here if you did the tutorial I just mentioned, first link down below. Click on that and then you want to go through here and kind of do some stuff. So first things first we're going to look at resolution. Yours might be unchecked and if it is that's okay I guess but I like to control this. Now 1280 by 720 is 720p resolution. That can usually be a good place to start so you do you know 1280 right there which I don't want to do by 720. I'm gonna leave it a little bigger because that way you guys can see this video better but um, that's what I would recommend 1280 by 720 start there if you're still lagging after you've done all this come back to screen resolution first and lower it the lower it is the better okay so keep that in mind the lower the screen resolution the better as far as lagging problem is if you make it too small you won't be able to see anything Next thing we want to do is come down here to JVM Arguments, okay? So when you come down here, you've got XMX 1G. What does that mean? Well, that means one gigabyte. That Minecraft will use one gigabyte to do all of its stuff. One gigabyte of RAM is what we're talking about. Now, if you're like me and you've got a killer PC with 32 gigabytes of RAM or even 64, some have now, you know, you're going to want to use more RAM than that. However, on the flip side, if you have a computer with four gigabytes of RAM, right, you're not going to want to put a four in here. If you do that, it's not going to work at all. Your computer's going to overheat. It could be bad. So you want to be careful here. And if you don't know what you're doing with this and you don't know how much RAM your computer has, I would leave this. However, if you do know, like me, I know I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, I'm going to go ahead and put a four in there. For vanilla stock Minecraft, four gigabytes is plenty. If you're running mods, you might have some mods that want you to put eight gigabytes in there. I've had mods do that in the past, but for vanilla Minecraft, we're just gonna do four gigabytes. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and go back over here to news and then click play. Make sure you're on that Optifine version we just edited. And it's gonna go ahead and launch into Minecraft with Optifine. Now I'm not even gonna launch into the game. From the main menu, I'm gonna go straight to options and then we're gonna go into video settings. Now. I'm going to do this as if you have a terrible computer, a computer that is so bad that it can barely even open a web browser, right? I'm going to try to make it to where you can play Minecraft. I'm not going to promise you're going to be able to, but I'm going to try everything in my power. So we're going to turn everything as low as it can go. So we're going to do graphics fast. We're going to do render distance tiny, smooth lighting off. I mean, basically, we're just going to go down through here and tear it apart, right? So smooth lighting off, frame rate, V-Sync. You could limit it at 30, but truthfully, it's not going to matter. I would just V-Sync it or unlimited frames. So either all the way down or all the way up. I'll leave it all the way up for now. Um, GUI scale, the smaller you can go on this, the better, right? But we're doing a video here, and if I leave my GUI scale at small, you guys won't be able to see anything. So I want to get this big enough to where you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Use VBOs. For this, I would go ahead and leave it on. If you have rent, like loading options, you can come back and turn it off if you're having issues with the lag still, but just leave it on for now. Brightness does not matter. And tack indicator isn't going to matter. I'm going to turn it off though. Dynamic lights off. Dynamic FOV off. Shaders. If you're having lag issues, you do not want shaders at all. So just go ahead and turn those off. Click done. And then back over to quality. The next thing, jumping down the line here. And basically, minimap levels doesn't really matter too much. However, what does matter is that anti-aliasing is off, androscopic filtering is off, clear water is off. Basically, as you can see here, we've got every single thing off. 
Custom entities are off. I accidentally turned it on there, I think. Turn it back off. Custom GUIs are off as well. I jump over here to details. You want to have all of these on off, just like I do here, or you want to have them on fast. Some options, like trees, right? They don't have an off option. You have to have trees, so we're going to turn it on fast. Held item tooltips down here it doesn't really matter too much. You can turn it off if you want, leave it on. It's not going to hurt your performance. Entity shadows, however, will hurt your performance, so we want to turn those off. And then as you can see, everything else is on fast. If you want to just pause the video right here, go down through and see what I've got. But basically, you're either turning it fast or you're turning it off. Fog distance doesn't really matter, but um, you can change that if you want. Play around with it. Now, moving over and over here, we've got performance. Smooth FPS, I'm going to leave that on for now. That's going to stabilize the FPS. However, if you do have issues with like random judderness, right? Random like lag spikes and stuff, come in here and turn that off. Like I said, though, I'm going to leave that on for now. Um, smooth World, I'm going to turn that off. Fast Rendering is going to be turned on. However, if you have like weird screen flashes and stuff, come back and turn that off. Same thing goes for fast math. We're gonna turn that on, but if you have weird screen flashing and stuff like that, come back and turn it off. If you have a pretty good CPU, fast rendering and fast math are going to be your best friend. Chunk updates, the higher this is, right, you're the lower your FPS is gonna be. So we wanna keep this at one for now, but over time, if you're noticing you have a really high FPS, you could actually come up here and turn this up if you wanted to. But again, I'm assuming you can barely open a web browser on your computer, so we're gonna keep that at one. Dynamic updates, I recommend leaving this on. So basically what this means is when you're standing still, like, you know, barely moving, mining or something like that, it's gonna load around you. Instead of like when you're moving fast, it's not gonna load as much. So that's an easy way to do that. And same thing for lazy chunk loading on there. That's more server dependent, but go ahead and leave that on. Once you're done with that, click done. And then animations, this one's really easy. Just click all off. All off gets the job done. And then in other, Lagometer, you can turn this on if you're trying to figure out exactly how your lag is working. And you can actually see here what the different things show, right? So if you're having lag after this video, turn on your Lagometer and see what colors are pulling up. And then post those in the comment section down below and we'll try to help you out. We're going to leave that off for now. Show FPS, I want that on just so I can show you guys what it is. Advanced tooltips, doesn't matter. It's not going to really have much of a impact on performance. Whether we want to be off time, this can cause performance issues and can help a little bit, but the fact of the matter is I like it the day-night cycle on Minecraft, so I'm going to leave that default. Full screen, you want to leave off. Full screen mode, default, doesn't matter because full screen is off. 3D Anagriff, I want to leave that off. Autosave. So this one, if you're having, say, like lag, right, just occasionally, every so many minutes, right, by default it's three minutes. That means it's lagging whenever it's saving Minecraft, okay? So what you can do is come in here and turn this up to 30 minutes. The problem is you're going to only lag every 30 minutes. That's a good thing. But the problem is you could lose up to 30 minutes of work in Minecraft. That can be quite a lot of work. And... I don't want to lose that much, so I recommend leaving it at three minutes, but if it is an issue for you and you're noticing lag every three or so minutes, then maybe 30 minutes might be your best option. Last but not least, screenshot size really doesn't matter. Um, it is going to take up more memory when you're capturing a screenshot, but I don't take too many, and it's not a big factor for me, but if you do, you could turn that down. Anyway, go ahead and click done, and we're going to launch into single player here. It's going to launch into this random survival world I built a little while back. And we're going to see 700, 900, will we break 1,000, 1,000 FPS right up here in the top left corner. I think that's a win. 1,100 FPS, yeah, that's a win. We are totally not going to be lagging whatsoever. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. We make awesome Minecraft videos and gaming videos and tech videos, teaching you guys how to do stuff in every, basically, facet out there. Um, be sure to drop a subscribe button and turn on post notifications, video notifications there. That way you guys will know when we post awesome new how-to content. But anyway, this has been The Breakdown. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am out. Peace.